It burns, yet there's no fire. Why does a chili fool your nerves into believing you're in pain? Because capsaicin, the active alkaloid, triggers the same heat-sensing receptors your body uses for real temperature changes. The capsicum genus, part of the Solanaceae family, has flavored human diets for over 6,000 years. Archaeological findings trace its domestication to Mexico and the Andes, spreading worldwide after Columbus's voyages. By 2020, global farms produced 36 million tons of green chilies and peppers, with China growing 46% of them. Peppers are natural sources of vitamin C, carotenoids, and polyphenols, which rise as fruits ripen. Chili's active compound, capsaicin, turns on the body's heat sensors, which is why it feels hot. Scientists are still studying chili's flavor chemistry and antioxidant effects, but there's no proven medical benefit yet. Why do some chilies just tingle while others feel volcanic? Their intensity is ranked by Scoville heat units, a scale measuring capsaicin concentration. Jalapenos reach about 5,000 units, habaneros climb near 350,000, and the Carolina Reaper hits 2.2 million. In 2023, scientists confirmed Pepper X as the new record holder, averaging over 2.6 million SHU, more than 500 times hotter than a jalapeno. Capsaicin's intensity excites the palate, but can irritate skin, eyes, or stomach. Some studies show that eating a lot of chili can slow down digestion or cause heartburn in people with sensitive stomachs. Eating chili can make an existing fissure sting more, but it doesn't cause hemorrhoids, that's just a myth. So, how do you cool the burn and enjoy chili safely? Drink milk, not water. Casein protein in milk binds capsaicin to stop the burn. Cooking or roasting reduces heat by breaking capsaicin bonds. Wear gloves when handling hot varieties or extracts. From sacred spice to global crop, capsicum shows how chemistry turns pain into flavor and curiosity into science. If you like our content follow us to see more of our science-based videos.